You and I didn't mention this, but one thing I did want to um, just to set it up, I, I did want to talk about AI as a developer in terms of, you know, now you're starting to see, uh, you know, I've actually heard from some junior developers that are that are worried. Um, you know, because I've actually seen, you know, the ability to say, you know, make me a, uh, you know, a, a, a simple app that with a login and a registration system, you know, with this, uh, you know, these specifications in this language, this stack. Um, and you're starting to get some pretty decent code. Some of it's a little buggy, but you're getting some pretty decent code. And obviously that's going to be uh, Im improving. Um, so I'm just kind of curious on your uh, perspective uh, as a developer and in, in the developer landscape, you know, how the AI is going to play into that. Do you think it's going to um, to hurt some some positions or do you think ultimately it's going to be a, a nice developer assist like we've seen kind of uh, some of the code editors and things that are doing the, the assistance? So uh, personally, I'm quite optimistic about that. Like what I think is... Uh, so when I was starting development like 12 years ago, it was really hard and uh, complex to the complex UI. Like uh, you would write in jQuery, you would write in, then Knockout was a little bit easier, but it was basically a pain to write a, uh, something uh, uh, re reactive on front end. Then uh, React, then uh, Redux, then other tools, like now we have like Swell, Vite, uh, Hot Reloads, like all of that sped the development a lot, but we didn't lose jobs, we actually have gained even more, right? From this perspective, like uh, 10 years ago, you would have to either have a machine like VPS and run your server on it, then you would have a Docker, then uh, like a DynamoDB and cl cloud services where that's completely all sources. Now have you Superbase uh, or uh, like Airtable or other SaaS that basically give you all of that on a single command, you have whole database, another command you have your users and authorization created. So all of that is actually just evolving. And, and I, I think that's just another tool. Like from this perspective, when you consider, does it change? Does it does it really differ that much from this perspective? When you look like what the, what the ecosystem grown into, what the system as a service is, what the cloud providers did for the development, like they sped it up really quickly. But it didn't mean that anyone lo lost the job. Like there is DevOps, there is cloud guys, there is now there is a lot of jobs regarding that, and people who did used to spend a lot of time on uh, doing uh, front-end, now have more time to iterate and add new features more quickly. Totally. And yeah. that's, I think, yeah. So from this perspective, I, I'm not that afraid of it. Uh, I don't know if that's me being naive or uh, <laughs> just having the, the benefit of experience and seeing, like, even 40 years ago, when you consider how much faster computers are and what you can do on a smartphone, like it, yep. it's still, it, we're still relevant. Like there were developers 40 years ago and there they are now, and even more so, they are even more uh, relevant now than they were. So yeah, yeah, yeah I think no, we have I... some way to go. Totally agree. And granted, I guess this is a conversation with two folks that, that are very pro AI. Um, but I mean, that's, 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 that's how I see it as well. I think it's just going to assist us. Um, we both know there's, you know, there's annoying things about, uh, front end and back end development. I think a lot of those, um, things will, you know, will, will be assisted by AI. Um, and it'll just kind of be the, uh, you know, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm optimistic about it in this space for sure. Um, but definitely wanted uh, your, your position on it. I think there will be some uh, loss of jobs, but it, it will keep evolving, right? You, yep. you, you will have to adjust. And so same, similarly, 10 years ago, I, I did uh, Angular uh, JS. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not relevant right now. So right. I, I think of other skills similar to that. Like mm -hmm. maybe we are just more privileged in a sense that we are used to getting rid of old tools and gain new tools. Right. Like I think some industries will have to adapt to that mindset that mm -hmm. now they're having to keep changing their tools uh, more often than they used to, right? Uh, yeah. So like that's kind of the landscape 
uh, what I think is what what was happening. Uh, but in the end, you know, like I think it's all positive. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a. Uh... Definitely an exciting time. It's it's a it's a fun fun time to be um, diving into this stuff. And uh, like I said, yeah, definitely cool that you're already uh, putting out uh, apps using AI. I think that's really cool, and why I wanted to chat with you today. 